Today we're going to be configuring an ASA5510. This is going to be a very basic configuration aimed at beginners to the ASA platform. Um, hopefully you have some iOS experience um, already. Some of the commands are very similar. So we're just going to get straight into it. So upon booting the ASA out of the box, you get this message pre-configure firewall now through interactive prompts. We don't want to do that. I'm going to show you how to configure it without that. So we're at the base level, denoted by the Cisco ASA and greater than symbol. Um, so we're going to go into enable mode with the enable command. No enables password set by default. Um, privilege mode. All the same commands you've seen before. There's a few more file system commands in the ASA, I think. Um, but pretty much the same. Show, copy, whatever. Okay, configure terminal. No. Nope. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to configure that enable password. So enable password, password. That's enabled our password. Let's go let's test that. So there we go. So invalid password. There's no password. So password. And that's worked that time. Okay, so telnet password is just the password command. So password, password. Let's set up a user account. User Cisco password, password. Okay, so all pretty similar to what you've seen before, hopefully, apart from the way that you set the Telnet password. Okay, so, Telnet isn't activated yet. It's only activated um, after you set the IP addresses um, and interface from where you host can connect from. But in order to do that, we need to set up our interfaces. So, the ASA comes with four interfaces, four Ethernet interfaces, plus one for your management port. Let's go ahead and configure the first one. Ethernet 0 slash 0. You have to give it a name, you have to give an interface a name. Um, normally you'd give it inside and outside, you know, for inside and outside interfaces. So this is one's going to be our inside interface. Security level set for the inside interface to 100 by default. That means it's the most, uh, most secure level. Um, okay, so we're going to set an IP address now. 10.99.0.1. Okay, so that's our IP address set. No shutdown, of course. Description LAN interface. Okay, so that's our inside interface set. Let's set our interfa up, outside interface up. Int e0 slash 1. Name IF outside. Now it's going to set to 0 by default, as we can see here. That's the least secure. Obviously, you'd want your outside interface to be you know, trusted less than your inside interface. <laughs> Okay, IP address is going to be 192.168.0.254.255.255.255. Okay, obviously, you should know shutdown command. Description WAN interface. Okay, so that's our interface set up. Let's set up our routes outside the network, our default route. So we're going to issue the root command. Then we're going to tell the interface from where we want to root. So we're going to root outside, outside of the SA. 0.0.0 .0. This is our default route and this is going to go via one and two and it's going to be a metric of one. We're going to route inside to a network 172.16.10.1 uh, sorry dot zero two five five two five five zero and this is going by one nine two one six eight zero dot two five three and it's going to be a metric of one. Obviously the inside interface is fictitious. But the outside interface, uh, I set it up earlier, should work, should be able to ping Google's DNS. Yep, success. So that's ping into the outside world. Uh, we verified that. So now we're going to go save our configuration quickly. Well, not quickly. Configuration terminal. And uh, we're just going to give the ASA a name, hostname command. You've seen this before, hopefully. So that's given, that's changed the prompt name, the host name of the ASA. And we're going to set up Telnet Access. So Telnet Access is going to come from the network's 10.99.0.0. And the, the net mask is going to be a class C. And it's going to come from the inside interface. Obviously because we set the IP address from the inside interface. And we are going... Okay, so Telnet Access should be set up now. You can set a timeout if you want. So Telnet Idle Timeout is set in minutes, so we're going to say two minutes. 
Okay, now we need to set up our HTTP access, aka ASDM access, Adaptive Security Device Manager. So we do that, HTTP server enable, and then HTTP, and we're going to tell the IP addresses that we want to connect from, which is going to be 10, 99, not 10, sorry, 0, 0. I'm going to give that as netmask. I'm going to tell it from the inside interface. Okay, so that concludes our configuration. I hope you found it informative and beneficial. If you liked it, please leave comments below. If you didn't, tell me why. Hopefully I can improve it for you. Um, please subscribe. Okay, thank you very much.